Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, this is a very special episode, and I want to, to hand over the introduction to Andre here. Well, what happened, brethren? This is fully charged. We're sitting on the car right now. We're going for some food. We did some wicked filming earlier. You're going to see it later. But for now, sit back and enjoy the video. <laughs> This is Andre Louis, who is an amazing guy I've been in touch with on Periscope and Twitter for the well, probably the last couple of years, isn't it? Definitely, on and off. yeah. Um, and as you may be able to tell, I don't know, uh, Andre is blind, he was born blind, and he's a blind man who walks around London. Is, is saying blind a cool thing? Is there a better way of saying it? Cause I'm at, no, I'm it's at, the easiest way, it's really. Easiest R&IB way. like to tout this sight loss business, but for right. those of us who've never had sight, we've yes. never lost it to so, begin with. Yeah, right. So I take more issue with that than blind. Than blind. So you're like black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bruv? Yeah. <laughs> he's a blind black man. Yes, and left-handed as well. He's a left-handed blind black man. He's got it all. <laughs> he's got it covered. But also that you're very... Uh, you, I mean, Andre, just turned, we just picked him up just now, and he's already wired for sound. So he, you walk around with microphones. Oh, all the time. All, all the time. Recording everything. So there was. So basically, what I wanted to discover is really how dangerous electric cars are for blind people because there's a lot of talk about that. There's been a lot of talk about it recently with the Guide Dogs Association in particular. They've been yeah. saying that it's... Um, and I, you know, I, I find this quite a miss, honestly. I mean, the Guide well, Dog is going to look better than a blind person is, so I find yeah. that complete crap, if I'm quite right. honest. Well, I'd love, I'd love you to be... Because it kind of, Well, the, the video that they shot to show how dangerous electric cars are was a was a was and only annoyed me because they had a Nissan Leaf going past the, the the woman with the dog very slowly and they'd removed the sound and Nissan Leaf makes a noise when it's yeah it well, you a, shouldn't a, do that that's so just that is misleading kind of, in the first it's, place it's misleading and that's what upset me because it does make a bloody noise Emily stands at another curbside but now I have worries that the current freedom that I enjoy is under serious threat an electric car drives past Quiet vehicles are actually dangerous for everyone, you know, you don't necessarily see a car in time. Emily almost steps in front of it. I mean, and there, look, I'm just driving along here and a woman is standing right in front of us, um, in the road. <laughs> but I think she's waiting for someone to pick her up, which, yes, she is, so she didn't look for a moment. <laughs> okay. She actually, did, I hear she a whine, but that's from inside. So that's, I might so not hear that outside. Yeah, no, you wouldn't hear it outside. So, especially now we're on a little quiet street, but if we did that... That is, I think, quite dangerous, but that is making quite a lot of noise outside. Yes, it does. <laughs> and I still haven't broken the speed limit, but I've got to the speed limit very, very quickly. This road's got speed bumps. So Sleep in Babylon, them call them. <laughs> I think I demand full West Indian at all times. Well, all right, we can do that. Eh? <laughs> This is Andre's state-of-the-art recording system. All the sound we use from now on came from that system. Now, obviously, using a public street to do a test like this is a little bit complicated. We had to wait till all the other drivers had gone and until it was pretty quiet. Right, I'm going to now, how are we doing there? Pretty quiet, creep down the road and see if I can creep past Andre without him hearing it. So I'm going to do five miles an hour, seven, six, five. I mean, and I, I, you know, I pride myself on having pretty good ears. I've got to. You clearly have. But this, yeah, that's weird. Because that, I mean, yeah, if you think this car is on now, and I, now I'm moving. No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the moving. I'm moving. I am moving. You're moving away. Story, sir. Where are you going? <laughs> are you ready for the sound test, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But then, let's just go over the real rudiments. Like when you're walking down the street and you're, if you're on your own and you've got your stick, so the, the general public are going to see that. And I mean, I'm hoping that they're generally kind and They are really and nice, actually. Right. People often think London's so rough, I'd never come here. Yeah. But actually, general public are really nice. I got right. lost in a train station. People always stop and, people and help. people will help. Exactly. Despite that they've got to catch a train in five minutes. Yeah. 
but then so but if you were walking down say this street on your own and you were you wanted to, you wanted I'd to get cross to the other now side, you but would you cross could now. be coming up on me at five yeah. miles and you'd be actually on top of me but then and the, it's a real concern it is a concern i really appreciate that but also as a driver this is my argument as a driver you if i see you anyway. walk crossing over the road with a white stick i'm going to stop <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you know that's the. That is, it would make me very nervous and anxious to see. You know, if I'm driving along the road and there's someone with a, that's going to give me, a, you know, an ordinary pedestrian makes me anxious, so I slow down and I drive slowly and make sure I don't hit them. That's it, but it's it? my duty as a driver not to run you down. It's my responsibility. You know, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. And that's the thing. I think a lot of people are too uh, phoning and texting and not watching. Yeah, well, that's, in a car, you can't afford to. No, no, absolutely right. And you know, it's definitely the driver. The driver is at fault, not you. But then. I'm just asking the sort of basic things that I thought of bicycles presumably if you were here now and a bike was coming you're probably not going to hear that unless, unless they shout they're freewheeling oh, if they're freewheeling and tick, 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 yeah tick. you can hear that but yeah. you're right yeah and in that case it's hard to know who's going to swerve around who yes it's always an interesting I'm, gonna, I would, I'm, I'm suggesting as a long term cyclist your best option is to stay still at that point because yeah, be... I'm on my bike I can wiggle around you then if you're moving it's harder to living in choose. London you're used to coming to very abrupt stops yeah but I mean generally speaking to crossroads you're going to a cro- where you know there's a crossing where there's a BP always yeah post that goes I mean BP, here BP. there seems to be tactile paving as if I could cross now right and there's no traffic lights so I'd cross here it right. seems safe enough yeah, and you can hear pretty clearly now. I mean, there's a bit of building work going on. There's a train in the distance. A bit of but wind it's nothing in the trees. that in London you don't expect. No, so you just no. have to listen around it in a way. But then in a busy street like the Euston Road or oh, Oxford Street, I wouldn't cross like without a crossing right, in that case. Right, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But I mean, because the thing I think is the dangerous one is, say you're in a car park and, and a, an electric car is reversing. Yeah. Then you really can't hear anything. So you're really reliant on them seeing you, which is obviously harder if they're going backwards. But I mean. Uh, you know, it's again, it's the driver's responsibility to make sure you're not there. But I think a beep sound when would a car's adequate. reversing would be really helpful to you, wouldn't it? If you heard that, it would be the hardest that. part for me actually is crossing between two badly poked Volkswagens, red dwarf. But uh, <laughs> like, if I'm standing here and there's a car this side, car that right. side, you're driving in the middle of the road. Yes. If I'm coming out, we might not see each other. Yes, exactly. So there's always that concern. Yeah, yeah. So a sound from your point of view, then a sound at that at that yeah. low speed. But I mean, the thing is, I suppose the thing is, if if there's a car doing 30 miles an hour. Electric car sounds that. exactly the same as an ordinary car, so there's yes, no there's no difference there. It's it's a very it's the really the very low speed. It uh, needs fuzzy logic to apply to the car. Yeah. If five miles an hour or less than make noise yes. after ten, yeah, faded yeah. away. Yeah. Well, that's what the, the I mean the Nissan Leaf does. That the Zoe makes a it goes it goes <laughs> makes that kind of noise. <laughs> How bizarre. <laughs> yeah. So most of them do. The, the Tesla doesn't yet, but they know they're going to have to. But it worked really well. That's fantastic. Thank you. I'm oh, going to definitely. shake your hand, Andrew. Thank you Thank so you much, very mate. Much, Thank mate. you, mate. It was you've, lovely. You've made a, you've made an old man very happy. Old man. What would he bomba clot?